I'm Dr. Wesley Shanklin at Lima Dental Associates here in Lima, Ohio. Among other things that we do, facial pain, TNJ, sleep, all kinds of restorative dentistry with implants and all kinds of dental procedures, we also do Botox and Juvederm. And today I'm going to show you a patient who's actually one of our hygienists here that we're going to do Juvederm on, and you'll see the actual real procedure and you'll see the beginning and the end and how she looked afterwards. So we're going to do that now and I'll show you exactly how we do the procedure. I'm using, providing a little bit of local anesthetic here because I think that dermal fillers are nice and simple, but if the patient's numbed up a little bit, they don't cause any discomfort when you do this. So we're just going to give Deb a little bit of anesthetic here, just like she's going to have a filling in the dental office. And then when she gets numb, we'll do the fillers and she'll probably not feel a thing, and that's what I want. So I'm giving her just a little bit of anesthetic on both sides. I do this because I'm scared to death. That's why I'm sh no, I'm not kidding. I'm just kidding. I do this because I'm trying to distract her. So when I inject her, are you okay? Mm -hmm. When I inject her, she doesn't have very much or any discomfort. We're going to do some ju Juvederm fill right here. As you can see, she's a very pretty lady. She's a hygienist in her office. She's very pretty, but you see a little bit of nasolabial groove right here. A little bit right here she wants to eliminate. Now, some of these other areas we'll use with Botox, we'll correct those. But this little groove, we all have that. That's from embryology, the way we develop. But sometimes as we get older, these get a little, I said sometimes, these get a little deeper right here. So she wants to have that corrected. So we're going to try to fix that for her. I'm going to clean her off here to make it look good. You're pretty numb, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Can you smile? Can you whistle? <laughs> could you whistle before? <laughs> yes. You could? Oh, yeah. Oh, my Lord, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Now, what I'm going to do, you okay? Okay. See the groove right here? We're going to try to fill that. Does that bother you very much? I can't even fill it. Good. So that's the way we need to do it. So I just inject a little bit at a time. And inject. Just, it's real simple. Inject like this. Just like that, we're putting this filler that has hyaluronic acid in here. Put some more in here. You okay? Oh yeah. See, not the way to do it. Mm-hmm. Because you've had this done before, I think, once, yeah, and it was a little difference. discomfort, wasn't it? Yes. You know, a lot of people don't numb people up when they do this, but I don't know if I'm gonna be the receiver of this. I would kind of like to be numbed up. She could definitely go through this without being numbed up. But why do that to her? This is much easier. Because believe it or not, I do like her. <laughs> now, this is much easier. Open just a little bit for me. Now, I don't know if you can see a difference, but I can. You can <laughs> see this is a lot nicer than the other area was and how this is filled. I'm going to put a little bit more right here. She and I talked about that off camera, and I want to put just a little bit more right there. See how nice that is? I'll show you on the camera. You can see, now watch, see how, the thick, see how thick that is? That thickness is what gives the body, is what gives the body to the filler as we put it in there. And it has hyaluronic acid in there to help break down some connective tissue things to help it stay in place and do a fill. Now what I do after that then, I'm going to rub her here, and you can see a perceivable difference from one side to the other. Let's do the other side now. Now can you turn my way just slightly, Deb? Can you still see that? Mary, Mary, quite contrary. And you are. See a little bit right here. Does that bother you? No. Not at all. See, just a little bit at a time. Man, I've seen some of these on YouTube where these guys are injecting at the speed of light. Mm -hmm. They're poking people so fast, I think it has to hurt when they do it. But why somebody wouldn't numb somebody up to do this, I have no idea. Because she said it didn't hurt her when I numbed her. Now look in the mirror again, dear. Look at that. Look at that. See the difference? Oh, my gosh, yes. I'm going to do a little bit more right here. Okay. 
And lean back just a little bit. Turn that way just to here so the camera can see it. You okay? Mm -hmm. We really should use Botox right here probably later too. Now turn that way just a little more. We're going to do a little bit right here. Like that little place like, oh sorry, like right, 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 right there. Right, right, yeah. exactly right. Yeah. Now she might feel this a little bit just because. Smile for me if you can. Here we go. Okay, just relax. You might feel this a little bit. I don't mean to hurt you. You okay? Mm-hmm. Hurt you very much? Mm-mm. See, the nice thing is Juvederm now has one of these that has lidocaine, which is a, which is a local anesthetic you might call, um, what do people call that? No, I mean. No. Novocaine. Novocaine, Novocaine. thank you. Oh, and see, so we don't call it that. Novocaine <clears throat> no longer is used. That we can use to help fill these areas and also numbs while we do it. Okay, now. This will stop. We've got a little capillary, but that'll stop in no time. Now turn to me and look at me. What a difference in your face. What a difference. I wish you had a before and after picture. Mm -hmm. Take a look in the mirror now, Deb. Look at, look at your face, see? Oh, gosh, yeah. What a difference. Yeah. Like I said, I, I tease her because we're such good friends. She's a pretty lady anyways, but look how nice she looks now. Lord. <laughs> What's wrong? Your upper lip isn't working. This should be corrected with Botox. We'll get this with Botox in a later film. Okay. Sure. Okay. <laughs> this, this is the same too. This is not due to lack of uh, interstitial uh, material here. This is because she needs Botox right here. Okay? Okay. That wasn't too bad, was it? So that needs Botox. Yeah, smile, if you can't see. That's, yeah, Botox. See, Botox right here, right there. That's not due to lack of filler. Okay. Okay. That's a muscle product called levator anguli orus needs to be fixed. Okay. Okay? Sure. There you go. And once her anesthesia wears off, her lip won't look like it's paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, see, and later on today I'll take another video just to show you how nice her lip looks and how nice her face looks. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Shanklin. Thank you. Back now, and all our anesthetics worn off. And I want you to see how nice her face looks now. Look at this. That nasolabial fold looks normal now on both sides. Remember the little defect we had here, the little area? Look how nice that looks. It's, does her face look much nicer? And you can see it's fuller. She doesn't look silly. She looks great. So that little Juvederm that we injected so simply works so nicely and fills the area so well. And Alima Dental Associates, we can do this for you as well, very simply and as easily as we did for this lovely lady, our hygienist.